it's officially beef season. The beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake has become a major talking point in the hip-hop world, evolving rapidly with both artists dropping diss tracks and public exchanges that have captured the attention of fans and other artists alike. It's what has consumed black Twitter, hip-hop Twitter and more. On the African front, the feud between Wizkid and Davido has recently reignited marked by a series of sharp exchanges on social media that showcase their ongoing rivalry. I could trace this latest spat to April 28, 2024, with Wizkid posting that David O video of him begging and crying, and at first it seemed like that was that. In response, David O mocked Wizkid's career and his music suggesting it was no longer relevant. The exchanges escalated with personal insults and claims about each other's musical achievements and influence or lack thereof. These two guys will always go back and forth and there's well over 10 years of proof to back that up. So let me dig into what this all means. Buckle up, this is the no BS version. If we compare Wizkid vs Davido and Kendrick vs Drake, one thing that stands out very quickly is that the hip hop feud has given us much more entertainment value because of the musical aspect, whereas the Afrobeats feud has not done that. It's all been Twitter fingers and words. It's evolved into the predictable place it is now. 30 billion gang versus Wizkid FC. And those are the names of each of the respective artists superfans, if you don't know, by the way. 30BG and Wizkid FC. Culturally, hip hop always had a tradition of beef and diss tracks as part of its deep roots, serving as both a form of artistic expression and competitive arena within the genre. And then things like freestyle battles, etc., reinforced that culture. We can go back four or five decades on this. It's part of the MC DNA. Afrobeats, on the other hand, may have some diss tracks recorded in its relatively short history, but nowhere near enough to make it part of the culture. On that front, don't expect any diss tracks dropping from Wizkid and Davido in the same fashion as K Dot and Drake. In my opinion, I don't expect diss tracks at all. Maybe a sly line on a verse or two sometime down the track, but I'm not holding my breath. Davido has actually dropped a diss track before called Femme around 2020 and it was allegedly targeted at Burna Boy, though he does mention Odogu, so you know how that goes. Now it makes you wonder, why is Davido the common denominator in these beefs anyway? But maybe I'll tackle that in another video. And the question I had is, who is really benefiting from this Wizkid vs Davido beef? Is it going anywhere? So let's look at that. Both artists have been prominent figures in the Afrobeat scene and have had a complex relationship over the years. That is obvious. And that includes public disputes and even performing together on stage. And their receipts for all this. This kind of public rivalry, while divisive, can sometimes invigorate their respective fan bases, which is your 30BG and Whiskey FC, and keep the artists relevant in media discussions. Not that I think Wizkid or Davido needs that, especially Davido with these alleged philanderous ways that have been in the limelight more than needed over the last few months and have really, really embarrassed his wife. But anyway. Anyway, I digress. Such rivalries can stimulate creative outputs such as when each artist tries to outdo the other or potentially leading to new music that resonates strongly with their audiences. Has this beef boosted Wizkid or David O's numbers on streaming? And that's the question I wanted to answer. Let's look at some numbers. I'll keep this really high level, but if... We compare the streaming numbers for the week of April 21st to April 28th, which is the week before the beef, Davido had 12.7 million streams on Spotify. And the week of the beef starting April 29th uh, to May 5th, 
2024, he had 12.4 million streams on Spotify. So that's a drop of about 300,000 streams. This suggests that the beef didn't really do anything for him there in terms of streaming numbers on Spotify. If we compare the exact same for Wizkid, he had 25.6 million streams the week of uh, April 21st to 28th, which is the week before the beef. And then he had 26.3 million streams the following week, which is when the beef started. Wizkid gained 700,000 more streams in that time. However, we have to consider that as a result of the beef between Kendrick and Drake, there is a chance that Wizkid probably would have seen that stream inc increase anyway as people find songs he has done with Drake because there is actually more uh, visibility on Kendrick and Drake's uh, songs as a result of the beef with Kendrick leading the way. Now, mathematically, it's only about a 2% increase in the context of uh, Wizkid here uh, when we're looking at the streaming, which is a regular week-to-week -week fluctuation when you actually zoom in on the data like that. Likewise, Davido's drop in streams by 300,000 was only 2% off his, his, his usual streams. So again, just a regular week-to-week -week fluctuation. So at this point, we don't really have any data that's pointing to any significant shift in streaming caused by the beef between these two. Between April 29th and May 5th, Davido saw an increase of 50,000 followers on Spotify and Wizkid saw an increase of 35,000 followers on Spotify. However, when we look at the data and zoom out, we realize that this is following a growth trend that goes back two years. So again, nothing suggests that either artist has gotten a boost as a result of this beef that they have. So it's essentially a waste of time right now. And there's no data to say it's helping them in any way. That's my conclusion. The fans in some way are getting Twittertainment and something to talk about at best, but no music. So it's as good as nothing. Media platforms maybe will enjoy having something to write about or blog about or whatever. And that should mean more readership and ad revenue as a result, especially the longer this feud continues in the public eye. But I don't think this beef has reached the level of bringing crazy dollar to anyone. It's still a, you know, he said, she said thing, kind of. The hope is that both Wizkid and Davido can eventually just channel this energy into giving us new music in a way that benefits the fans so that we can, you know, listen to something new, inspiring, whatever you want to call it. And also for their careers without any further personal attacks, because nobody needs that right now. Focus on the music, guys. Seriously. What do you think about this beef between Wizkid and Davido? Let me know in the comments below. Is it worth it or is it a waste of time? For real. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Day and day.